photon. Photon. Tetraquark. Drat. We all would love to win the lottery, but you know that every time you buy a ticket, you may be putting your faith in the very random nature of photons? This is the Qubit Lab. Should I even ask? I'm making a random number generator. Really? Yeah. Check it out. Beep, boop, boop, beep. Whoop. Ta da. Nice sound effects. Thanks. Random numbers are useful in lots of applications, such as lotteries and gaming, password generation, cryptography, and numerical simulations but it's difficult to produce a quality random number at a high speed. Since not everyone can create a random number generator themselves, they typically use computers to create random numbers. The problem is computers are deterministic. Software can't generate true randomness because it relies on inputted code. There exist random number generators based on classical physics, but they're not based on a fundamentally random process, as classical physics is also deterministic. You know that whole, for each action there's an equal and opposite reaction thing? It's one of the foundations of classical physics, and it means that your results are based on the input. How do you get randomness from that? Cue the wacky, wild, and oh-so-random world of quantum physics. True random number generation is a lot more complicated than simply rolling the dice. Thanks to quantum physics, we can now use the interaction of photons and a semi-transparent mirror to determine a random sequence. A photon cannot be split in two. So if we send a photon through a semi-transparent mirror, there's a 50-50 chance it will be reflected or transmitted. Then all that's left is to set up a detector on each side of the mirror. If the photon is reflected and registered by the first detector, then a one is marked down. If it is transmitted and registered by the other detector, it's marked down as a zero. This process continues until we have a sequence of ones and zeros, which are then translated into a number because we cannot predict whether the photon will be transmitted or reflected at the mirror, the number is truly random. Oh, Gabe, no, your generator was wonderful. No, no, it's all right. Gabe's random number generator doesn't use optoelectronic technology. So what's the point? Hmm, you've got me there. Quantum physics has allowed us to create a true non-cardboard random number generator. In fact, a company called ID Quantique in Switzerland introduced the first commercially available quantum random number generator way back in 2001. Their latest generator, Qantas, is capable of generating random streams of up to 16 megabits per second. And it's available on PCI cards and even USB drives. They've also teamed up with the University of Geneva to offer these random numbers online. If you go to randomnumbers.info, you can make a random number of your very own. So now, quantum numbers can be used anywhere. So next time you load up on lottery tickets, or ante up on the online poker site you're addicted to, find the nearest light source and say, thank you, photons. I'm Gabe. And I'm Laura, and we'll see you next time. And the winning lottery numbers are, beep, boop, boop, beep, two, 16, 42, 12, Three. So close. What would you have bought if you'd won? I'd buy a house. Or I'd buy a boat. No, no, no. I'd buy a houseboat that flies. What about you? I'd buy a bubble in space. And I'd put you in it. It'd be a nice bubble, though. <laughs>